150, 180. Virat Kohli batting at three. Just two runs from this over. India falling back here. That's him. There he goes, all along the ground for. Very hard, straight back in an area. You hardly ever find a fielder. Yes, he's got a little bit of room. And yes, somebody said catch it. Uh -huh. He didn't even have time to move. Excellent placement. Very difficult shot to time, but it was a placement that is the key. But in test cricket, you'll see the foot going towards the pitch of the ball from Virat Kohli this time. He gave himself a little bit of room. See the foot has not gone towards the pitch of the ball because the intention was always to hit it up and over. There again. It's a good over for India, 76 for one. Off the bottom edge, well run away for four. But again, it's another muscular attempt from Virat Kohli. An indication that uh, it's getting tense. The equation, Virat Kohli usually very efficient in changing gears in his innings. And sliding on a bit, uh, Eden Walsh Jr. with this delivery. Topaz all the way for six. No problems with that. 100 comes up for India. Yeah, it's a short ball. They've used that uh, quite effectively today. The space in the space, there's bounce as well. He was trying to bowl, maybe a slower bouncer. The ball still came on. Did have the eyes of the ball. It's not, uh, again, perfect execution. There was a bottom at four earlier. This is a top at six. Four follows a six, a real gift. This time from Co for Kohli, he's asking about the height of it. Now he's thinking it's well above waist high, and that's something that all of us, when as players who played the game, always think it's more uh, in your favor. He wants a waist high full toss to get an extra ball, but you can see the ball was dying as it came uh, close to him. Yeah, started off looking really high. This is the thing, you hit one boundary, and suddenly you develop strength in it. Right, Virat Kohli on 44. And this one is where the bottom hand hasn't taken over. And that brings up the 50 as well for Virat Kohli. Like Rahul, he may not celebrate it too much. But hopefully this might just stay the trajectory of his batting graph. Well, you can say that he's struggling. But still striking at close to 143 is Virat Kohli. And possibly this shot changes the way he looks at this innings as well. Because he didn't try and overhit it. This is something right from his table of shots. Here's another one, intentionally played. Not like a couple of shots earlier that we saw. Look at him. Willing himself to find that, that form, the hitting form. Well, once he played the magnificent shot down the ground, you can expect the bowler to shorten his length. And there was a danger with the third man inside the ring. All Virat Kodi had to do was slash. It's turning out to be a productive over. Expensive start to the over. And because that first six that he hit in the silver was to a reasonably full ball, like this one. So this was the crucial shot. What that means is that Jason Holder had to get a little shorter. Another catch taken. After those two boundaries, a six and a four. He has it. He has it. The golden touch has come back. Here again, if you look at it, he didn't try and overhit it. Just timing, just relying on timing. It was pitched up, trying to get into the block hole. He knew that was coming. And all he presented was a straight bat. Great timing. Strange reaction from Williams to the bowler. Perfectly struck there by Virat Kohli. Bat speed, a lot more rhythmic. Now going over the stunts. Well, this time is the bottom man, but with 
Crate control. It's just a dismissive flick for six. And that strike rate has now gone up to 167.5. Virat Kohli is now taking off in Hyderabad. Stunning shot. A bit of an uppercut with the bottom hand. Uh, the, I love the reaction because every time Keswick Williams gets a wicket, he takes out his scorebook and puts the name of the bowler. And that's exactly what he's trying to mimic. Yeah. He's got all of that. This is one of the defining shots. Not quite as dramatic as the one that soared into the night sky over mid-wicket. But we'll do over square leg for six. He's walking his game now. Oh, look at the, again, the bottom man. Yes, Calvin Pollard angles the ball onto the pads, goes wider the crease, so that the shot, the flick to mid-wicket is always going to be on. He's gone wide, he's bowled it at the pads, but look at bottom man coming in. And then it's literally like a little flick that he does, where the bat goes over the left shoulder. There, nicely done. Just a single. Ah, I thought he's going to have another goal. So it's an interesting shot that it's almost as if you shove somebody aside, saying, look, I want to go ahead, I'm shoving you aside. And he shoves the ball for six. Now, we talked about wrist work and, and of course, being here in Hyderabad, there are previous players, and it's his reaction after that. He looks at Pollard because there's been a, a lot being said tonight. And he goes over, cover for six. 200 comes up for India. Who would have thought that 200, you just walk it, it's that kind of ground, this. But Virat Kohli is that kind of player. Again, an incredible shot from the blade of the captain. Length ball outside the off stump. In test match cricket, that foot would have gone close to the ball. This is T20, so he's freeing his arms. Nice swing of the bat. And into the crowd. The seven needed of ten now. They're actually going to win it with an over left. Chasing 207. And they've never chased so many to win a T20 international. A long off drops back. It's a gap for two. Run, Shivam, run. He can jog back. It's one of the reasons why Virat Kohli, when he's on song, and at his best, he's so difficult to bowl to. We've all marveled at the wrist work when he's hit the ball through the onside, the unfurling of the bottom hand, but he's equally as good when you go in this direction, opening the face of the bat. So it's hard to defend one side of the ground or the other. When he's on song, 22 fielders will not be able to stop him. Look at that, the winning hit from the captain. He has anchored a 207 run chase to win a game with eight balls left. Keswick Williams, none for 60. But this is a little masterpiece from Virat Kohli. And I say little only because there have been so many in his career. He used, as Sunil Gavaskar said, the top hand and the bottom hand. Used his wrist through mid wicket and through cover. But this is the innings of a master. That's why he is a modern legend. And you think he was 20 from 20 and the acceleration began. Brilliant. So, and so India win to go 1-0 up. And that's the great thing about T20. You never judge a game unless both sides have batted on it. And the West Indies look magnificent getting to 207. We thought it might be close. History will record that you, if, if a team wins with eight balls left, it's a big win. Now we're seeing some of the nice pictures in sport. You can go hard, you shake hands at the end. There they will go, smile and back. Shivam Dubey was just at the non-strikers end. Best seat in the house. Oh, it's been a magnificent innings, absolutely magnificent chase by India. Winning with what? Eight balls to spare. If anything, that last six was the most dramatic of them all, because you never see a six that flat over cover. But he just, he just got into such a good position, hit, the, hit it so well. Yeah, look, it, it's a top-class player who found his zone after maybe 20 or 22 deliveries. Won it with that shot and steers it down and then raises the arms to the crowd at the end. Yes, I am Virat. Well, the word means huge. It means colossal. It was that kind of performance from Virat Kohli. There's a bit going on. It's 11 versus 11, it was 1 versus 1 at times, and he won that battle. I'll tell you what, for all the excellence we see here in body, 
the bowlers, not over from Yasvindra Chahel.